The scatter plot shows the number of hours worked and money spent on entertainment by each of 24 students. Also shown is the line of best fit for the data. Fill in the blanks below. So we see here that each of these points represents a student and how much money that they spent on entertainment. So depending on the number of hours that they worked, for example, here we have two hours worked and the plot, the y value at that plot is five. So that means if they, this person worked two hours and they spent five dollars in entertainment. And we notice that there seems to be some correlation here. This line of best fit represents a linear correlation in the positive direction, so positive correlation. Because as our x values increase, as we increase the number of hours worked, it seems that the y values are also increasing, which is the same thing as a positive slope. So if this line of best fit has a positive slope, as you increase in x values, the y values are also increasing, then it's a positive correlation. So let's go ahead and, and read the questions that it's asking. For these 24 students, as the number of hours increases, the amount of money spent tends to what? So as the number of hours increase, we just talked about it, then the, the value or the, num the amount of money spent in entertainment is also increasing. So we can put increasing because it's a positive correlation. We'll excuse the handwriting here. Tends to increase, tends to increase, not increasing, tends to increase. That's terrible, I'm getting my normal pen here. Increase, maybe not much better. We're going for the 24 students, there is blank correlation between the number of hours worked and the amount of money spent. So we know that there is a positive because this slope of this line of best fit is positive. So a positive correlation between the number of hours worked, meaning that as they increase, also the amount of money increases. It would be negative correlation if we're increasing in hours, but the amount of money was decreasing. Then there would be correlation, but it would be negative, and we would see a negative slope. Using the line of best fit, we would predict that a student working 10 hours would spend approximately how much? So if we come over here to number of hours worked, we see 10, we go up to the line of best fit, and then we look at the Y value. Let's go ahead and draw it for 10 hours. We come up to where it crosses the line, and our y value at that point is 25. So we would predict about $25.